All right, I wanted to make a video to to kind of prove something I was thinking. Anyway, I'm going to I'm trying to decide between no bangs or bangs, and that's what I wanted to talk about. Hang on. It's hard to hold a phone and do this. I should be using a tablet or something. Anyway. So, I don't really like no bang, or no, with bangs, but that's what it seems to, and I've noticed that my bangs grow really slow. The rest of my hair grows fast. Anyway, so what I was thinking about that is, I think, okay, this is going to be another one of those weird kind of things, but I think what it is, if you're noticing my embouchure, that's what I notice. I change it when I speak without teeth. I don't know why I do that. But I've learned to make sounds that are going to sound like words to you. If I do a weird thing with my mouth, which is like, put it up like this. That's so weird. But, oh, you know what I used to do? As an exercise, I used to take a pencil. And just hold it with my lips for like a few hours every day. That was supposed to be my lip exercises to help my embouchure for my trombone playing. I don't know if it actually does anything. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked, sidetracked, sidetracked. Where was I? Oh, bangs. I think that there is a way... I was listening to some far out conversation about morphogenetic fields. I don't know if you know what those are, but look them up if you don't. Anyway, it's basically that there's kind of a blueprint for what we look like. And I think that I'm supposed to have bangs and long hair. And that's what I'm supposed to look like, even though that's not what I prefer. And I'm, I'm not, I, I know for sure I'm not supposed to have any tattoos. Earrings? Yeah, I think I'm not supposed to have earrings because I've noticed a trend that I start getting smaller and smaller earrings. And I feel like it looks more like me. What do I look like and why do I care? I don't know, but I think there's a way I'm supposed to look. And what else can we change? Like getting in shape? Some people are just rounder and bigger than other people. I think that I'm not so big. I think I'm just the kind of what's considered a slight person. Not very big. So, doesn't I'm one of those people it doesn't really matter what you eat you can eat and eat and eat and eat I'm about as big as I'm gonna get I notice it in my face and my neck more than I notice it anywhere else and those are the last places well when I went to a wellness center after when I was doing my physical therapy um well my mom made sure I, I was going to a center to work out and to try to learn to walk and run and get myself back in shape. Anyway, one of the things they told me, because I was like, so when do I start noticing it? I already had a really, really low B B BMI. In fact, it's kind of funny because the we tells me an ideal weight for you is like 148 or something. I'll never, ever be that heavy. <laughs> Even when I'm pregnant, I'm not that heavy. Anyway, I, there was one doctor once when I got up to like 150 and he's worried about me. He says, you're not supposed to be that heavy. You've gained too much weight. But ended up after the pregnancy was over and I went back for my two weeks appointment, I weighed less than I did before I got pregnant in the first place. So, being pregnant is just a, a hard thing for women when you gain weight and when you... First have a child, you're just going to be a little pudgy, and that's all there is to it. I remember people caught me trying to, well, I took pictures of myself and then stretched them to make me look skinnier. And somebody noticed the clock was stretched behind me. I guess I wasn't so smart. Anyway, I think that we look a certain way. 